This is the story of us. My friends Bob Thomas and John Allen, we discovered a common interest in feeding the poor. When we first opened the food bank, we didn't know what to expect. The warehouse looked very large and quite empty. Food donations came in slowly at first. Eventually, the food began to pour in. We regularly received bread, meat, dented cans from supermarkets. We received almost a thousand gallons of milk weekly from a dairy, and we would get yogurt from several others. Soon we received eggs every week from another donor. We had hoped to live together and to work together in such a way that all who came to us would feel love and friendship. to 5300 Adamo. We were still Divine Providence Food Bank. We uh, were having some very uh, difficult financial times. That started to stabilize. Uh, there was a period when we changed our name to America's Second Harvest of Tampa Bay. And it was about that time that things started moving up. We got another truck, our second truck. <laughs> Immediately hired a number of people. We were getting more donors. The Yankees donated 100,000, which was in those days a lot of money. Uh, and they bailed us out of a real tight spot financially. Um, and then we moved here uh, to 50 or to 47 or two transport. The size was significant then. When I first started here, I worked in the sorting room, and the sorting room back then was a pit. It was, my job was just to sort food, uh, and I did it with little kids and convicts. It didn't matter who; they just took anybody they could to sort food. Uh, when Thomas came in. Uh, <laughs> He, he was uh, asking the first or second week, uh, going around to all the employees and introducing himself and asking us what we expected and all that. And I said to him, you better not be messing with us, because if you abandon us, I'll punch you down. <laughs> Feeding Tampa Bay provides almost 50 million meals a year. We deploy hundreds of mobile pantries, thousands of school backpacks and senior meal kits. We offer nutrition education classes, assist with benefit enrollments, and partner with USF to better understand the causes and conditions of food insecurity. We're pleased to have been the nonprofit of the year in 2014 and winner of the prestigious Bank of America Neighborhood Builder Award. We're here, day in and day out, to make sure a meal is on a table where there is a want or need for one. We have been partners with Feeding Tampa Bay pretty much since our inception about seven years ago. And what we find with Feeding Tampa Bay is a wonderful selection, great support, and this enables us to service our clients in the community to the best of our ability. Over the years, um, you know, we have been able to increase our outreach uh, efforts through the food pantry. When I first started uh, way back then, uh, we were, I remember we were serving about 120, 150 families uh, per week. Uh, those numbers grew uh, exponentially and you know we've been serving uh, 500 plus sometimes up to 700 f families for, uh, a week now. It's incredibly important for us as a food retailer to get the items that are no longer meeting our quality standard into the hands of those in our community that can use them and without a partner like Feeding Tampa Bay we couldn't make that happen. Food is a basic necessity of life just like water and air, 
and uh, it's hard to comprehend that there are neighbors in our community who don't have the basic resources uh, or even ability to provide for their families the nutritious food that all of us need. Being on the board for 10 years now, uh, if I think back uh, to 2007, 2008, we were probably serving less than, uh, or distributing less than 10 million pounds of food in our community. And uh, by the end of 2017, we'll distribute close to 50 million pounds uh, to more than 700,000 members in our community. Feeding Tampa Bay, happy 35th. It's been a long road. Thirty-five years of feeding healthier futures because no one should go hungry.